Welcome to the hair show, the hottest, the biggest hair show on the planet. I'm Ursula Steven. And I'm Kia Marie. And listen, guys, this show is about to take you on the ultimate hair journey. And today we have a very special guest. Yes. Hairstylist on the rise. Well, I actually feel like he's risen. He's here. Definitely a hairstylist to watch, one of my favorite. The ever so handsome, the ever so tall, Mr. Kai Spence. Yes. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the hair Thanks show. The receipts, Thank okay? you for having me. You guys look really good. Like really Thank good. Thank you. Thank you. See my hair. Feeling this hair. This yes. Feel cute. Little attitude. Feeling the braids. Yes. I like it. I like it. And Kai's also from Brooklyn. Yes. Brooklyn, yes. Brooklyn is in the house. Yeah. I, mean Millie Box. I, 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 sturdy. <laughs> Real sturdy. So, <laughs> how are you surviving in this heat, child? Ready to go back home <laughs> to LA. Thank God for the beautiful studio that we're in today. I know, Thank right? Thank you for coming. It's so beautiful. I love it. Yes. So, Kia, what are we talking about today? We're focusing on trendy hair products. Mm. Mm. Do you have any favorite trendy products at the moment? I think right now, one of my favorite hair products or trendy hair products is definitely edge control. And that sounds really yeah. simple, but you know, we it's not the the edge controls of the past. Mm -hmm. We have really great edge controls now that have avocado oils and coconut oils that are really, you know, nice and gentle to the hair. So I'm having a good time just discovering new ones every other day. Definitely, you know, we love a laid edge. Mm -hmm. We like to slick it back, snatch it for the gauze, okay? Yes. But I feel like, you know, that can be a little trying on the mm -hmm. edges. So our is edge control suffocating for the hairline? Does it clog the pores, the follicles? Like, Ooh, what's the tea? It's such that a word. It's such a <laughs> harsh yeah. word. I think it is. The hair follicles. <laughs> First of all, you shouldn't be using any product that much to where your your your, your um, cuticle gets clogged, right. okay? And anything that you overuse and abuse is definitely gonna have a negative effect mm -hmm. on the hair. Do I think that it really clogs? I don't know if it really clogs. I, I wanna find another word for that. But I think that if you do overuse it, it will affect the hair. And I think it's a great idea to, if you're, if you're that girl that are really into laying edges and you have to get it right, that you have to really incorporate a healthy hair regimen in between all those laid out edges, yeah. you know? I think know? it should be lightly used. Like it, yes. It's good for sleeking, but I think it should be something that's lightly used. Absolutely. I'm definitely like team, let the naturals, let the hair just be. Okay. okay. I'm not somebody that really slicks down my edges. I kind of just like let it let do it what flow. it do. It but best believe when she's going to get laid, she gets laid. Okay. <laughs> so our next product is the Max Hold Gel, like the Gorilla Glues. Well, I don't really use those products. My favorite one to use, it's something similar. Um, this brand, OGX, they have this like holding gel that I really like to use. It's really strong. And I don't think it's too harsh on the hair. I just think it's like you said earlier, it's the amount you use. Yeah. I try not to use too much. I try to use like a little over the dime size, okay. massage it in my hand, and then apply it thoroughly through the hair. Or I use it for like laying down wigs, like really lightly, like right on the hairline. Got I try it. not to use too much of it. So Got what's it. the best way to remove your wig and remove that residue after you take your wig off? Best way I remove wigs is either with a solvent that has some sort of oil base mm -hmm. or just an oil to remove the wig because I feel like it'll just slip right off. I feel like I've been seeing these videos where some girls are just like yanking them off right. or like pulling them off and I'm like, oh my right. God, you, like your hair's gonna fall out. <laughs> right, right. So I think the easiest way is something with like an oil base or like a solvent that's used for removing wigs for sure. Got it, got it. And what's your take on Jamaican black Castor oil. Love it. Yes. Why? Because I feel like it helps moisturize the hair, it helps promote healthy hair, and it helps for growth. So that's right. like one of my favorite products to use. It's actually in my kit right now. Yes. That's funny because I'm a new believer in Jamaican castor oil. Really? I was very against it for a very long Why? time. Why? One, because I thought it was a, really heavy, okay. you know? But I think I finally discovered you a happy medium. That's the thing. Yeah. And I think, I don't really think that it actually makes your hair grow, but what I do think it does, it actually coats the hair in a, right. in a good protective mm -hmm. way from heat styles right. and other hairstyles, other damaging styles. So it's kind of creating that protective barrier over, mm -hmm. over it. Mm -hmm. So obviously if your hair is protected and it's sleek, it's not fraying, it's not frizzing, and it's, right. it's less breakage. So I do think it helps to promote healthy hair growth, but it doesn't actually make the hair grow. Does that now make sense? I, I love using Jamaican black castor oil, mixing it with other products, yes. you know, to kind of create a, like a little oil cocktail, mm -hmm. like to grease my scalp, put on my edges. Okay. Another thing, can you mix these oils with the edge control? Like what, is there a reaction that happens? It depends on the hair texture. Okay. So like on 
our hair textures, I wouldn't mix an oil-based etching troll with a Jamaican black castor oil because we'd end up in a bad concoction. Yes. Right. You wouldn't see any sleekness, right. you wouldn't see any Sleepy of that, you just see oil. <laughs> right. But if we're using like uh, something with like a matte finish and then putting an oil on top of it to give it like a little glisten, because I do that sometimes, I think that's perfectly fine. Yes, it's all about balance with products. Yeah. Perfect, I yeah. like that, I like sure. that. So our next product up, or supplement, <laughs> hair vitamins. I personally love vitamins. I grew up, my mom was just very no. religious when it came to vitamins, what? period. Are like, you saying no to hair vitamins? No. Not even a, okay. I mean, I feel like hair vitamins hmm. is marketing, a marketing scam. I feel directly, like saying this is specifically for your hair, I feel like, eh. But if you're taking a multivitamin, something with um, biotin in it, something with uh, magnesium and um, MSM and things like that that are, you know, promote hair, skin, and nails, okay. I think that's a good a good thing. But when you start promoting it strictly for hair, I feel like that's a marketing thing. Go. Yeah, like, <laughs> just because I feel like I've been seeing it lately where, like, it's being promoted yes. as, like, this marketing scam that, like, if you use this hair vitamin, your hair's gonna grow down to your knees. It's like, I nah, nah. But some of them on the market do actually help the hair, help the nails, help the skin. So I'm here for some of them, but the whole, like you said, the whole yeah. promoting it. Uh, I think it's just a healthy, all of overall balanced diet right. that yeah. works. So if you're I using agree. multivitamins to supplement yeah. your diet, okay. But when it starts, you're not taking your greens, but you yeah. want to exactly. take a pill for your greens. Well, no, That's I totally problem. agree with both of you guys on that part of it where, you know, it's not that just definitely directed mm -hmm. at your hair. I feel like if you, like you said, if you eat healthy and you drink healthy, that obviously your hair will grow, but I do feel like hair growth is from within and mm -hmm. you have to feed your body. So I feel like whether you take biotin that's saying is for your hair growth or you're taking just vitamin E or whatever it is that you're lacking, mm -hmm. you definitely have to feed your body from within so you can push out right. healthy hair. So Agreed. I think we kind of agreed to disagree yeah. a little bit, but yeah. cute. You know, it's all about selling, you know, people trying to sell products yeah. and it's all about money. So yeah. I think we just need to be an educated consumer when right. it comes to approaching hair vitamins Absolutely. specifically. So, can you use too much leave-in conditioner? That's a good question. I feel like, yes, you can always over condition your hair and then they have that, I don't know the correct term, you probably do, yes. where your hair is too moisturized yes. and it gets limp, you lose the elasticity. So I do think you can over condition your hair, period. You Whether definitely can over condition it. And, and the, the result of over conditioning is very limp hair. It won't mm -hmm. hold the hairstyle. So you definitely want to find a balance, even with great treatments like conditioners, you want to find a good balance in conditioning. I think with leave-in conditioners, I feel like that's also a funny one. I feel mm -hmm. like if your hair is strong enough, you really can't over leave-in condition. I think it's a great thing to reapply leave-in conditioner, yeah. especially during the summertime mm -hmm. with heat like this that we're suffering from right I now. I like them, but just not yeah. too much. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like you guys are saying, like yeah. sometimes it can be a little too much to weigh down here. So I yeah. like leave-in conditioners, yeah. but I feel like throwing too much on is like, I don't yeah. Know. So how I like combat that is I love using a spray leave-in conditioner because it's okay. very lightweight and yeah. I can use it to refresh in the morning. And so it doesn't really weigh your hair down. You get that volume, especially, yeah. you know, when the summer is hot, it's humid, your yeah. hair is going to frizz up. Frizz absolutely. Like Lamp, it's gonna get greasy, so you don't want to use too much product. So I like right. the spray leave-in. That's actually a great, a great tip, guys. All right, guys. So now let's segue into our hair in review. Today we're talking about all things Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a Beyonce stand. Beyonce, yes. Beyonce. Well, as we know, Beyonce has been trending with. You know, she showed all her hair growth, and That's as we know, she chopped it all off maybe like two or three years ago, mm -hmm. and it was real, guys. I saw it with my own eyes. Yes. Her hair was short. It was cute. I loved it. But her hair grew back in like. Two years. Did you see the new one? Yeah, that's yes, the new, where yeah, the new one. Yeah, the new one. No. Okay. No, no. I saw when she cut it off maybe two years ago for maybe like a role she played. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. She kind of just tried it and then she kind of went back into her long hair. And then from that day, I feel like she's been on a regrowth pattern and her hair is like almost down her back. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Like, that's how, that how are you guys style. feeling about the, the Lion King premiere with the braids <gasps> and the finger waves? I, I, I loved it. Like, I was like, staring at it like this. Iconic. You know, at first, you, I, what did you Not think? Not gonna lie to you, I was like, I don't know if I'm feeling this, because I was like, should this be a shortcut or should this have been something a little different? Because then when she turned around, I saw the braids in the back, and I was like, mm, She was I don't giving know. us dimension. But that's why I like it, because I feel like, you know, girls are so afraid mm -hmm. 
you know, if, when you have long hair and that's been your thing, you're afraid to go short. And you, but you also, but I you want to have that option, right? Okay. But you want to have you, you want to have that option, option without getting cutting, stuck yeah. with something short that's going to be face framing. And I think they nailed it. Okay, yeah. they nailed it. They gave her that I liked option it the of day having after. short. The day after. First yeah, day I feel like they nailed it by giving her that short visual in the front, and then we tricked everybody from the back. You know, so it's non-committal, and I and I like that, and I, I like the creativeness of braids, like they're just right. going to the next level at this point. So know? do you think it was a wig? No, I think it was her natural hair. Okay. I do, I, I I don't know. I think it looks like a natural hair. Should I call like Neil real quick? Is it quick? easier to do with a wig versus <clears throat> natural hair? I think something like what she wore was easier to do with, with her natural, her natural, natural hair. hair because gotcha. all those little short pieces. That would have been fake, so like hard to do with the wig unless like she has really fine hair to lay under. Yeah. It could have been really bulky. Yeah. And it would have been a disaster. That's I think it was a great move, Beyonce. Yes. Great Keep inspiring the yeah. girl. We'll see that for the summer. I will tell you Definitely. that. Definitely. Remember that the this lemonade summer. braids? Like, the, it was <sighs> all the craze. Yeah. Formation came out. You know, because when I was growing up, they were just called the round the way braids. I yes. didn't know they were called the <laughs> Oh, well, braids. she renamed it. But <laughs> that's what I love about Beyonce is that she really owns it. If she's doing it, she's owning it. Yes. And I love it. Even with, down to her Halloween costumes, to the roles that she plays, like, she always gets into it and gives us that look. And she does it her way. Yes. You know, she wanted short hair and she got it. Mm -hmm. You know, so. I like it. Yeah. How how hard do you think it is to achieve that style? Which one? The lemonade braid. I don't think it's hard. I just think you need a bunch of hands on deck. Okay. Yes. Like, <laughs> to finish the end. See, because the thing with braids is people don't understand. Starting them and getting at least to the bottom of the neck, yeah. perfectly fine. But once it's the end, you get tired. You get restless. So you're like, I yeah. need your hand, I need your right. hand, I need your hand. Let's come, let's attack these. So I, I think it might have taken, like, I want to guesstimate six to eight hours. What do you think? You think it was a wig? Uh, it was Beyonce, so she needed it done in three. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm sure she got, I'm, I'm, I don't know what if she sat there for eight a, hours. Okay. What if it wasn't a wig? What if it wasn't because Nikki's for Motorsport, that video, that was a wig. Yeah. That looked good, and they were like the same I thing. I think it was a wig. You think so? I, at first, I thought it was her real hair, and she but, really took the time, but then when Nikki came out with it, I was like, I was like this could have been too quick. These girls are wearing wigs, honey. I was like, yes. this is real quick. You need yes. a wig for every day of the week, mm -hmm. every hair yeah. style. Yeah, absolutely. And because she changed her hair on like for that video yes. so much, yeah. I was like, I don't know if they did all this. Yeah, definitely. I think what I love about Beyonce the most is like she changed her hair so much, like yes. every yes. day. She yes. really gets into character, and uh -huh. she really has fun. Like, we saw it during Halloween. Mm -hmm. When she was Four Tony Braxton, yes. uh, Flojo, Little Kim. Yes. I love her commitment. I yes. just love it. She goes all the way. If you're going to do it, do, do it right. right. I think yes. my favorite was Tony Braxton because she reincarnated Phony Braxton from Martin. I was like, <laughs> yeah. yes, give me life. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. I love the yes. Flojo moment because yes. of the nails, the hair. Like, I ran uh -huh. track as a kid, and that was my idol. So to see Beyonce right. as Flojo, like, I get That was nice. That and was the salt and pepper was amazing too. Mm -hmm. Yes. She and that's the other thing. I think Beyonce that. also uses that time to really come out of her whole yeah, and, and, yes. and just come out her shell. Like, uh -huh. You know, she's never really had a chance to really wear super short hair. Mm -hmm. So that was a Tony Braxton. So yeah, she just kind of get it out of her system. And you know, that's what Halloween is all about, right? Yes. I, I love the little Kim, like all the little Kims. Like I thought that was that was fun. That was amazing. I love that. She really gets in the character because you know she is an actress. She is. She is. And she nails it. Every single role she nails. Like absolutely. Austin Powers. Oh, the afro. Yes. Oh, my God. Remember the afro? <laughs> was, love. I, I loved her with that afro. I love afro. when she swung her head and it was like the shrink. Yes, yes. yes. Like, yes. Who? Like, oh, I wish. Huge afro. <laughs> I wish, wish that was real. I was like, I don't know. I know, afro, right? Like. That was dope. I loved her with the afro. Yes. And then we had the Pink Panther. She gave us all those pink looks and yes. check up on it. Yes. That was fun. That was like, that's still like a reference. Like, you go back to see what she did. Yes. Cadillac Records. Yeah. And she actually committed to that look when she that did it. Like, was. she wore it out a Was the Etta James role Cadillac Records? Yes. Yes. Her hair short? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. She delivered. She, she went all it. in. I love her for that. Dream girls with all the wigs. How difficult are those wig styles? I mean, once you have them prepped and mm -hmm. set. It's just take it on. Yeah, you take it all. Put it, it all. Put it back on. But to create those styles. Well, like the take prep time takes a while. The prep time takes a while. But if you do a great prep, I'm sure you know this, mm -hmm. your work day will just fly so through. Easy. Absolutely. I she also that. was in Fighting Temptations. She had the mm -hmm. braids. She, she had braids in yes. a braid. hey, movie, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I she think, think so. The, yeah. The wavy. I think Dream Girls was the, the movie where she changed her looks the, the most. Because yeah. she ran out of so many, because it was a performance movie. Yeah, right. She ran out of so many different characters. And what I like about her is that even though she's changing her looks constantly, she always keeps it familiar with her color. Like her yeah. color is always, always that thing that is like, oh, that's Beyonce, you know? I think that's what I like that about her. Seven. Was <laughs> gonna take it back to Halloween with Little Kim when she did the black hair and the Chanel. Yes. That I was like, oh, Beyonce with black hair. Yeah, Beyonce with dark it. hair gives it. me a vibe. Yeah, it's a vibe. I, I like, like it. it. I do. Like it. She, she never wears it long that. enough. Beyonce, wear that dark hair just a little bit longer. Just a little bit. We like it.
We know Beyonce is a big star, but girl, you worked with a few big stars yourself. I can't say. You know, I have a few Free names in the middle. Speaking yes. of yes. Rihanna, yes, give us your top five looks. Ugh, that's always so tough for me. All right, let me let me go through the let me go through the colors that in my you head. created. Yeah, okay, I created, okay. So I definitely love the red. French twist that I did for the EMAs. I don't know what year that was, but it was red and yes, twisted. It was red real moment. cool font. It was one of my favorite red hair looks because that red hair was not a game, guys. <laughs> my second fave was the red hair again for the Vita Coco ad. Okay. So it's funny because we did the Vita Coco ad and we also shot the Man Down video in Jamaica. So mm. we did everything in that one weekend. So it was just a was red hair, red moment. ear. That was, I was like, who did yes. that? Was that I love it. This is everything. Everything. So wait, that's two? That's two. I have three more. Um, I liked her bob that I did for VMA. She actually won a VMA. She had a hot pink dress on, mm -hmm. kind of like Betty Boop. I love that. Like that was one of my favorite bobs. I kind of like put like some platinum streaks Ooh, in I it. Yes. And one of my really fun, favorite re memories of that day is that Rihanna was not even 21 yet, and that VMA was um, shot in Vegas uh -huh. at one of the casinos. And literally after she came off stage and won her award, they walked all of us out, big security guards, right back to the room. Like, oh, really? you're not even 21 yet. You can't, <laughs> you can't do nothing. And we was like, damn, we'll be back. Definitely. <laughs> See you in a few so that hours. Was three. Um, I liked her short black hair for Teen Choice Awards. I remember her, it was like a real cool out red carpet. She had like baggy jeans and it was, hair was really dark. And um, she had like a, a pink lip. That was just one of my favorites. And I feel like that day I didn't really do much to it. I kind of like just put the least amount of curls in it and just shook it out. Um, what's the last one I could think of? Hmm, hmm. A I give you four? Give us a blonde moment. Oh, how can I forget about that moment? So I love the Sharon Stone-esque, dark roots, blonde, shaggy mm -hmm. moment that we did for the Elle magazine. Mm. Uh, yes. I still want that <laughs> moment back. And that was, she, as we all know, she changes her hair oh, every minute. The time, and that was the, probably the only hairstyle that I really was like, please, just one week. <laughs> just one week? It was so good. Like, it was, it was, it was use it for, like, the cover of the Elle magazine, and then she did a red carpet with it. So it was my casino moment. It was a, that, yes, that was I definitely like my that. reference casino. I always have questions about her hair. Are they all wigs? Are they weaves? Is she leaving her hair? I like. It changes every time okay. with her. It changes every time. But I would say that her least favorite thing to do is a wig. Okay. Yeah, she really likes her hair to be done. Oh, okay. She's that yes. girl. Because I always yeah. try. To, I'm like, is that late? But that don't look good. No, no. Yeah. no we're always trying to clock Rihanna. Yeah, hair. It, it, it changes all <laughs> the time. You just never I don't think know. I've ever seen her in a like a. Full yeah, wig. she's not big on that. She and she's worn it, but it's you can't really tell. Okay. It, it, you better not be able to tell. <laughs> right. Like, she's not wearing it, honey. Like <laughs> we need three more hours to get this hair right. So okay. yeah, I've had fun. So when it goes, when you go to choosing your favorite hairstyles that you've done, what's one of the things that you think about when choosing? Uh, Why is it your favorite? I think the moment, okay. and also I think when I get my way. Mm -hmm. Are you kind of like that? <laughs> Let's talk about you. Do do we have a bond when it comes to that? When you, because I feel like when we get our way, it's such it a comes good, out so like much better. Me. Yeah. It's, so tell us more about that. I think because it makes you feel like, okay, this person trusts me. I'm able to really create a vision that I see yeah. is fit for them, the face, the look, the everything. Like, yeah. I try my best to work closely with the stylist and the makeup artist just to make sure that, like, okay, this is what you want to wear. Let's make sure the hair and the makeup is cohesive and yeah. it's going together. Like, it doesn't look like yeah. three people competing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because I think a lot like of the that. problems we see on red carpets, TV shows, everywhere now, it's like it's three different people competing. Yes. I see one girl on top, one girl on the yes. face, and one girl in the body. Yes. And I'm like, who is she? Yes, <laughs> so I, yes, I, I you are right. When you say that people yes. allow you to do you, because it, it just feels yes. amazing. And see. it's like sometimes I, I think, I feel like because I'm known for like trendsetting and you also are known for like big, big changes, you know what I mean? You. That you get that pressure from clients. Yes. And everybody, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Sometimes a simple ponytail works, you know? Simple. A simple ponytail works. Let the outfit speak. Yeah. Let's let the face speak. Absolutely. Let's let the winning be awards. Absolutely. Like, I hear that. Yes. Speak. Yep. Definitely. I agree. Good. I like that. <laughs> what else can you tell us about your, you and your clientele? What's going on with you? For me, I think my favorite and funnest 
if that's a word, uh, mm -hmm. moments are like music videos. So I feel like those are the moments you get to really have fun, create moments. And what people don't get to see in videos is like, you can probably relate to this, is sometimes the way the videos are shot, you have to go back and forth with hairstyles and go back and forth with yes. this. I remember one time I was on set with LMA for a music video she did called yeah. Shot Clock. And we started in the morning with box braids. I had three hours to put those in. And then they said, we want to switch her out to like a half a half down, 15 minutes. Oof. I said, how the hell am I doing this? So what I did was, no one knows this, but I took the braids out from the top, put a half wig on in the back, and yes. put her hair up in the front, and made it work. Yes. And then I had 10 minutes to take all that out and put her real hair into a ponytail. But I was like, people don't see this because the way the video right. shot, it looks like all one, everything shot like this in right. one scene, everything shot like this here. So I love like videos. Yes, those the just creative. Really creative. Yeah, that pr I think, oh, the, I think yes. the pressure makes us really get creative. Because she know? was like, are you sure you want to do this? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can do that. But in my head, I was like, I don't think How I am I gonna this? do it? Yeah. But you work it out, and I think that's th those are the little things that people don't know mm -hmm. from behind the scenes. And that's the why we have you we, guys here. Right, the pressure <laughs> that, that that we have to you know come up with all these styles yeah. in, in in like two minutes. So I think that's great that you were able to flip that yeah. real quick. Kai, thank you so much for coming and sharing a little bit of your so much you know behind me. the scenes with us. And don't forget to follow the hashtag <laughs> the hair show B E T so you can be a part of this conversation. Kai will be joining us again to give us a nice little tutorial. So you definitely want to stay tuned. Stay tuned.